To keep our guard up against a deceitful attack, the United States must maintain a striking force that is strong enough to check local communist acts of aggression on the spot. If the United States has this expanded ability to send ground troops into danger spots, the chances are good that we will not be forced to use them. Without enough forces at our disposal, we invite the communists to take risks at good odds. It is the Army's job to see that the risks are not taken. Ground combat is violent and dirty, a nasty and vicious business. By its very nature, it is repulsive to civilized man. It is so repulsive that it's difficult to find men anxious to handle the job. But in times of crisis, America has always produced men with enough guts to fulfill the Army's mission, to meet the enemy, muzzle to muzzle, bayonet to bayonet. This era of ours, burgeoning with new mighty weapons, does not mark any decline in the value of ground troops, nor does it produce any doubt that in a future war, the final decision will lie in the hands of the Army, in the hands of the men who are able to advance in the face of all the hazards of the modern battlefield to drive the enemy from his positions and to take and to hold the land. An army with weapons is more effective, certainly, than an army without. Yet as long as the basic ingredient, people, remains, the army will exist and its unchanging mission will exist to conduct sustained land combat for the purpose of controlling land and the people on it in the interest of the security of the United States. Now this is Sergeant Stuart Queen inviting you to be with us again next week for another look at the big picture. The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas. Produced by the Signal Corps Pictorial Center. Presented by the United States Army in cooperation with this station. You too can be an important part of the Big Picture. You can proudly serve with the best equipped, the best trained, the best fighting team in the world today, the United States Army.